reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. near the LZ. It's closing in. Rift jump successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength, 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax Belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley, we have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly you. You have a few parts missing as well. And the Paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants, wind turbines, and carbonium power plants. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. 
However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Not enough carbonium. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building.
Okay, these Sentinel Towers should keep us safe, so we can focus on expanding our base further. a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence is being noticed. Base defenses should be strong enough to hold them back. ammunition for my weapons. Carbonium storage is Ashley, full. are you still skeptical about the local creature's level of aggression? I'm skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal. It looks like we have the base up and running. If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high frequency energy waves. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. Base is under attack.
Lothian storage is full. Build more storage facilities. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. We can't save this world if we let it kill us, hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended, are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs, let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rift Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. We should start downloading new blueprints so we can construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog.
sodium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Communications hub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here. I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Communications hub construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Thank you. 
Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base, with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. The wind is picking up speed. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. The wind is calming down.
and new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. 
This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak. You were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Crafting completed. Research completed. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle! A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium. And the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. A new technology has been developed. The orbital scanner uses advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Ashley, my sensors are picking up an underground cobalt deposit nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map 
We should go there and search for it with the Geo Scanner. It's not that close, really. We should craft some better equipment before we try to venture out that far. Using the geo scanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. A new technology has been developed. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. Research completed. Technologies are available for development.
a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. The wind is very slow today. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the Alien Research Laboratory building. The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires multiple schematics in order to be built. Download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. Research completed.
Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Scanner construction finished. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. Available for construction. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses.
My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. One of our portals has been destroyed. Energy connector has been destroyed. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. The improved headquarters building can support more communication hubs. If we want to download new technologies faster, then we should construct as many of them as possible. Research completed.
amazing. It's going to rain in a moment. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. Research completed. Operations returning back to normal. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. A new technology has been developed. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult.
This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. Research laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with a lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley, and I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. Base is under attack. Alien research laboratory construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Finally, the alien research lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting. We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. 
Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rift jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Orbital scanner geomapping procedure finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. The second interesting area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazanite in crystallized form. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. Research completed.
Rift jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. The natural background radiation in this area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth. Ashley, you've placed this structure on quicksand. It is going to slowly sink into the sand. We should research extra stable floor tiles so we can place them over quicksand to prevent sinking. Our sensors are indicating large quantities of tanzanite within the cacti specimen. We can use tanzanite as a catalyst for production of high-energy weaponry and equipment. It would be great if we could gather large quantities of this mineral to create something useful. A broader arsenal of weaponry could undoubtedly help us survive against all these new hostile species. Let's start researching tanzanite handling. My standard radiation shielding can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However, if the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. These green crystals are emitting a lot of gamma radiation. Try not to stand too close to them, or they will damage my armor. The protective atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Ashley, we should gather more data about this area. We can later use the readings from my sensors to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Okay, let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. Ashley, I'm detecting a new species of creatures that have very unusual movement characteristics. That sounds very interesting. The creatures in this biome are unlike anything that we've seen before. Let's go to its suggested location and try to learn more about it. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Look at this creature. It has a very dense and thick carapace, yet it moves very swiftly over sand. We should study this species further. I can sense a few of these creatures in this area, but this won't be enough to gather samples for research. Let's pass this creature's characteristics to the orbital scanner and look for a location where we can find more of them. Affirmative, Ash. 
Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. We've found a location that looks like a breeding ground for the Stregoro species. We can go there to study it further. scanning completed. We've gathered enough data to start developing advanced UV shielding and radiation shielding in the alien laboratory. Mr. Riggs, I think that we can use the natural background radiation data that we've just gathered to filter out the naturally occurring radiation within the Desert Dome. We can use the orbital scanner to search for even higher condensations of radiation to pinpoint a possible location for extracting nuclear fuel necessary to finish constructing the rift station. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Orbital scanning completed. Ashley, we've detected a new area within the desert biome that can potentially contain higher condensations of radioactive elements. I have marked its location on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. We should go there as soon as possible. It would also be good to have the radiation shielding research finished before going on that mission.
jump successful. Dust storm incoming. Prepare for severe visibility reduction. This Dregoros breeding area is located in a narrow rocky valley. Its layout works like a large wind tunnel and creates an almost constant dust storm. It is going to be difficult to fight these creatures in these conditions. We can gather research samples in a more effective way using the bioscanner. Yes, the bioscanner is going to be much better than any weaponry here. We can use it to scan these creatures from afar without making them aggressive. It is also much quicker at finding good research samples. The Stregoro species is fascinating. Its carapace is built from an incredibly strong and light form of carbochitinous plating. It's perfect for these sandy deserts, as it allows these creatures to move quickly over quicksand despite their mass. We've gathered enough samples to start researching new technology that will enable us to place special floor tiles over quicksand that will prevent our buildings from sinking. Ashley, I'm picking up a magnetic anomaly nearby. It might be worth investigating that area. Interesting. Maybe that's the real reason why there are so many of these creatures in this area. Let's investigate this. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. This huge crystal is the source of the magnetic anomaly. Let's get close to it to gather samples. Be careful, Ashley. It looks fragile. It's so calm in here. Gathering samples completed. This crystal behaves in a very strange way. It emits a lot of high-frequency electromagnetic waves, but they have a distinct regularity almost as if a song was playing that's not meant for our ears. Let's research these samples in our lab. I'm not detecting any more points of interest in this area. We can rift jump back to base as soon as you are ready. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Good to be back at HQ. I feel much safer here. Ashley, remember that we can travel between planetary locations using the orbital scanner interface whenever you are ready. You can also check our list of objectives on that screen. Okay, Mr. Riggs, let's check to see if our base is still intact. Then we can go back to exploring other biomes. Many of the more advanced buildings require a lot of cobalt to be built or upgraded. There's not enough of this resource in this area to cover our needs. Mr. Riggs, can you calibrate the planetary scanner to search for more cobalt? Affirmative, Ashley. I'm starting the scanning procedure right now. Orbital scanning completed. We have found a new planetary location that is rich in cobalt deposits and would be perfect for establishing a new cobalt mining outpost. Excellent. It's even located within the tropical zone, so it should be more hospitable than the other areas of the planet that we visited. Let's go there as soon as possible. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Crafting completed. 
Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle. Base is under attack. under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. We should construct more storage buildings. The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great.
found successful. Initial scans indicate rich cobalt veins in the area, as well as multiple ironium and carbonium deposits. Great! That's just what we were looking for. We can set up a large mining base in this location to support our headquarters and rift station construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Outpost construction in progress. This building is a local version of our headquarters. It will allow me to reconstruct whenever I am destroyed. And it has a permanent rift station that we can rift jump to at any time. It will also allow us to automatically transfer all of the resources that are mined in this location back to our HQ, even if we're not present in this location. We can construct a network of such outposts around the planet to build up our economy. 
it's the only way to acquire enough resources to construct the rift station and all of its components. Be mindful of where we place these buildings, though. Our headquarters have a capacity limit of how many outposts we can support at once. So whenever there is no use for an outpost, we should deconstruct it and recycle the resources that were used to build it. Ashley, I am picking up a lot more activity in this area. We should expect strong resistance from the local creatures. Understood, Mr. Riggs. Let's make sure to set up solid defenses for this outpost. Cobalt mining is moving forward. This location is very rich in resources. We can also set up additional carbonium and ironium factories. Remember that we don't have to build everything at once. We can freely rift jump between outposts and return here later if we need to expand our mining operations. ...is under attack. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Wind speed projection is returning back to statistically normal values. Wind turbines are back at nominal power levels. tracking strange behavior within Galatea's asteroid belt. One of the smaller objects that have been orbiting the planet has recently changed its trajectory. What's strange about that? Galatea is a relatively young planet and has lots of moons and smaller rocks in its orbit. I have not detected any collisions in this object's vicinity or any other force that could affect its movement. It is also heading straight for our headquarters. It should be flying over our position at any moment now. Okay, you've got my attention. Let's track this meteor and see where it lands. has landed near our position. I am detecting increased radiation in a very broad emission spectrum. That was not a typical rock. I'm intrigued. Let's get to that impact location as soon as possible. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
The meteorite created a vast crater. The ground has a strange blue glow in this place. Is this Cherenkov radiation? That's possible. I am receiving conflicting readings. Ashley, please move closer to the center of the crater and use the geoscanner to gather more data from the debris. Okay, is this enough? Affirmative, Ashley. The remains of this meteorite are emitting huge amounts of dark energy waves. They are off the charts. That's very odd. What can you tell me about the impactor's composition? It was too small to contain enough dark matter to cause such emissions. It was almost completely obliterated when it hit the ground. The dust that remains is primarily composed of heavy metal elements. Era. Some of the readings are changing. How is that possible? My apparatus is broken, or the sample is unstable. It appears as if some of the heavier atoms are quickly decaying into lighter ones, while others are fusing into heavier elements. That's nonsense. Such behavior is not possible. That would cause a giant fusion explosion. Nothing could contain so much energy in a stable state. You are correct, Ashley. However, we still cannot explain the dark energy emissions from this debris. That's true. We also can't explain why this meteor decided to land right next to our base. That's too odd to be a coincidence. Are there any more objects in Galatea's orbit with similar composition? Yes. There is a number of similar objects orbiting the planet. They have been here since before we arrived. They have different composition than most of the planet's surface. Most of the planet's surface? Is there an area on the planet with similar composition as those meteors? Yes. Our initial planetary scans have mapped a large valley that looks like an ancient impact crater on one of the continents. Its resonance spectrum indicated large quantities of heavy metals. This area does not seem to contain any resources that are required to construct the rift station, so it was not marked as important. The meteor that landed here must be a fragment of some larger object that collided with Galatea a long time ago, and as a result, created that crater. Mr. Riggs, can you chart rift jump coordinates to that metallic valley? Affirmative, Ashley. Okay, let's go there as soon as possible. Ashley, if we want to gather better research data on that expedition, then we should first download the schematics for a research station. It will allow us to conduct on-site analysis of complex phenomena if necessary. Okay, let's hold off the jump until we have that ready. Research completed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Energy connector has been destroyed. Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under. 
under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade.
Research completed. Crafting completed. Successful. I am detecting a very high background radiation in this area. It is dangerously close to the safety limit of my armor. Good. This means that we really are onto something. I don't expect to find uranium rods lying around. Let's use the geoscanner to search for some ore. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The weather is changing. I'm sensing an intense dust storm coming our way. This may affect our solar panels. We won't be getting any good results by searching for uranium this way. This is tedious. Ashley, this is our lucky day. My sensors are picking up a larger underground uranium deposit. I've marked it on our map. Excellent. Let's go there immediately. The weather is clearing up. I can see everything again. Let's hope this doesn't happen again too soon. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. There's a lot of creatures around this area. We won't be getting to that uranium without a fight. You can search for uranium elsewhere, but that's probably going to take more time. You can fight these creatures, or you can try to figure out a different solution. Thank you for the advice, Mr. Riggs. That's very helpful.
We've gathered enough uranium samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that could be mined autonomously. Now that we know the type of uranium ore that is present in this area, we should download the appropriate uranium handling technology to be ready to set up a mining outpost. Ashley, we can use the radiation signature of the uranium ore that we gathered to calibrate the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits. It's like following a breadcrumb trail, but I feel that we're getting closer. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. We have finished researching Tanzanite Handler. We can start researching new weapons and equipment based on this mineral. However, please bear in mind that we will need to obtain this resource to craft these new inventions. The purple cacti in which we originally discovered Tanzanite could be a good lead. Let's gather more samples of this plant to study how it manages to synthesize this material. It's our best lead. Ashley, I have already detected an interesting location with dense groups of these cacti. It is nearby, and we can jump there through the orbital scanner interface. Okay, let's do that as soon as we've secured our current objective. Research completed. A small piece of comet is going to hit close to our position. The comet will hit the surface soon. We have to investigate it. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Research completed.
This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. New technology has been developed. Orbital scanning finished. We've located rich uranium deposits in a new planetary location. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. That's excellent news, Mr. Riggs. Let's go there to set up a uranium mining outpost. We'll finally have access to nuclear power and better weaponry. <laughs>
I'm detecting seismic activity near our position. Rift jump successful. Ashley, our long-range scans were correct. I'm detecting multiple uranium deposits that are large enough to be mined. Excellent. Let's scout the area to find a good location to construct a permanent outpost. We should look for a site that's close to a uranium deposit and is easily defendable. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. This area has a very rich geological composition. I am detecting multiple ironium and carbonium deposits. We can mine them as well to improve our economy. Our presence isn't welcome here. These creatures know we're here, and I'm sure it's just a matter of time before they start attacking our outposts. We should build up defenses as soon as possible. These small, ant-like mush bits are very fast and very aggressive. They attack in dense swarms so it would probably be best to set up some flame towers against them. Our sentinel towers also won't be any good against larger creatures like Stregoros or Nerots. We should set up some artillery or plasma towers against them. It's not going to be easy to survive here. As soon as we are done securing this area, we should start mining uranium. Okay, uranium ore mining is underway. Now, we need to start processing the ore to create enriched uranium. We'll need to place a few uranium centrifuges to get this running at a reasonable rate. Uranium centrifuges require a lot of energy to operate. 
We can take advantage of the increased efficiency of solar panels in this biome. We could already start building nuclear power plants, but there's no water to cool the reactors in this biome. That's a good idea. We need to remember to construct an adequate number of energy storage buildings to survive through the night while solar panels are not operational. In danger! A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. For construction. like it unearthed an object near its epicenter. Base is under attack.
Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New research completed. Jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Amazing. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how the light is scattering below their surface. It's mesmerizing. They also contain a lot of rhodonite. We can use this mineral to construct high-powered laser emitters for our weapons as well as other equipment. You already had me convinced at lasers. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research rhodonite handling as soon as possible. Technology has been developed. New blueprint? Interesting. It appears that this life form contains large amounts of hazanite in crystallized form. If we can gather more samples of this species, we could learn how to obtain larger quantities of hazanite to craft better equipment and weapons. We can use the orbital scanner to search for larger populations of this life form. Their presence should lead us to large quantities of hazanite. That's an excellent idea, Mr. Riggs. Our equipment sure could use an upgrade. Orbital scanning finished. Potential hazenite rich location detected. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. That was super fast. It looks like there's a lot of these plants or mushrooms or whatever we should call them nearby. We can work on proper categorization as soon as we study more samples of the species. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to Earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before setting up a permanent outpost in this area of the planet. Ashley, I strongly suggest using a bioscanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bioscanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. Research station schematics download completed. Roger that, Mr. Riggs. We can now make the jump to the Metallic Valley as soon as we're ready. Ashley, I'm 
detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Okay, that's enough samples to start researching them in the alien research lab. Interesting. We found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. It might be a good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. The acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to grow from a central root inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. We'll have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. Ashley, I'm afraid that the research station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. 
We will not be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth. Especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. I think that we can prevent the colony from overgrowing our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. We can prevent that. Now that we know the type of acid that this life form is producing, we can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect our base. We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. Research completed. Eruption is over. Technology orbital scanning completed. We have located a large colony of acidic yeast. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the planetary scanner interface. Warning! It is recommended to develop acidic shielding before visiting that location. It is going to be difficult to survive there without it. Successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before, and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going to be easy. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Okay, this looks like the central route of the colony. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research lab operational. Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Technology has been developed. New the fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. We finished researching road night handling. We can start researching new laser-based weapons and towers. They are going to be an excellent addition to our arsenal. However, we will first have to gather some road night to craft the new gear. The red crystals that contain rhodonite are relatively common in the acidic plains biome. However, I detected an interesting location with a much above normal condensation of their growth. There should be a lot of rhodonite in that area. I've marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Excellent. Let's go there as soon as we've secured the current objective. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Wall destroyed. <laughs> 
One of our buildings has been destroyed. in our walls. through analyzing the root of the acidic yeast colony. The data is already looking very promising. Ashley, since you've built up our research station in this area, I've noticed a change in the growth vector of the acidic yeast colonies around us. It appears that all of them are slowly growing in our direction. That's very interesting. It looks like we've been recognized as a threat. The colonies are trying to devour our base. is under attack.
research lab has finished gathering data. Objective completed. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. Orbital scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a few areas within the acidic plains that are entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones. Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Jump successful. Orbital scanning indicated that there should be multiple underground palladium deposits hidden in this area. We can use the geo scanner to find them. It's actually quite calm in here. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local fauna population also seems to be smaller than in the other areas of this biome. Ashley, I have located a large underground palladium deposit. I have marked its location on our map. What's this? The geoscanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. There are exploding mushrooms underground. This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. Great, the ones we've been finding so far were really small. Maybe we can find something that we can place an automated mining station on. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. The palladium deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. The fog is gone. Base efficiency is back to normal. Research completed. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available. Orbital scanning finished. We have calculated a favorable location for palladium mining outpost. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies in this area. That's good. Maybe there will be fewer exploding mushrooms in that area. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently. Successful. Orbital scanning was correct. I am detecting multiple rich palladium deposits nearby. Warning, acidic yeast activity is very high in this area. Okay, let's look for an easily defendable position near a palladium deposit. And remember to build our base on anti-corrosive floor tiles. This biome is not going to give up its resources easily. Once we establish a permanent outpost, we could also try to destroy the roots of the acidic yeast colonies. That should stop them from spreading further. That could adversely change the ecological balance of this biome. Let's treat that option as a last resort.
base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. Outpost construction finished. We should construct rare element mines on the palladium deposits near our base and start mining the resource. Rare element mines consume a lot of power. There's a natural abundance of refinable sludge in this biome. We could easily power our base with gas power plants. That is a good idea. Do not forget to secure our outpost with advanced defense towers. Setting up a few short-range radar stations would also be advised. They can monitor the growth of acidic yeast colonies. Research completed.
Jump successful. Warning, temperature above safety levels. This area is hotter than we expected. My armor is going to sustain damage from the heat. We've landed in the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley, I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly drops in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings from the orbital scanner. This might be it. We have to investigate that. This is amazing. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The temperature around them is much below the freezing temperature of water. Ashley, moving closer to this plant, we can study it from up close and cool off in its aura. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It looks like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. This crystal contains a rare mineral called Ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It doesn't exist on Earth. The magnetic field in this biome is acting completely strange. It is very fitting to see this mineral here. We should definitely research these crystals further. This will allow us to gather more Ferdinite and create new equipment. The chemical compounds that are secreted by these plants react with the volcanic gases that are present here. This reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it, resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings. It's an astonishing survival mechanism. We can use this effect to our advantage. The space around these plants is safe for us, so we can use it to regenerate while moving around this biome. We should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in our lab. We can do that by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. I would strongly suggest using the bioscanner. It is much more effective at gathering usable samples. And it will not destroy our safety zones. samples to study these cryo plants in our alien research laboratory. Let's do this as soon as possible. If we can learn to replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this biome. A new 
new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Rift jump successful. Gravitational anomaly detected. Gravitational strength 0.56 G. Magnetic field anomaly detected. My sensors are receiving a lot of interference. Wow, the parameters in this area are crazy. It's like a completely different planet. The gravity in this place is acting weird. Something must be causing this. Ashley, let's focus on finding the titanium deposit. It should be somewhere in this area. We can triangulate its position by building a network of radar stations. You're right. We can investigate what's causing these anomalies as we move forward. We can place the radar stations in the safe zones created by the cryo plants. We can also construct cryo stations of our own. However, they require titanium to be built. We can find small amounts of titanium by harvesting cryo plants. Look at this object. It's enormous. And it just floats in the air like it doesn't weigh anything. It is emitting a powerful magnetic field. It is disrupting most of my equipment. We will not be able to construct any buildings within its immediate area of effect. It looks alien. On an alien planet. Let's stay away from it. It reminds me of how I lost my mind. Building cryostations won't make much sense until we can find a much larger titanium deposit. 
Let's not waste titanium unless it's necessary. Okay, we've built the first radar station. It isn't easy to provide enough power in this biome. The atmosphere is very thick, and it's reducing the effectiveness of wind and solar generators. We will need a few additional radar stations to triangulate the position of the titanium deposit. Try to place them as far from each other as possible. They need to cover a wide area. The data that we've gathered about these strange magnetic rocks is fascinating. Their structure doesn't resemble anything that we've seen so far. They generate a strong electromagnetic field that can distort gravity. This shouldn't be possible. They are also impervious to all of our standard weapons and equipment. They are practically indestructible. We can't shatter them, but maybe we could dissolve them. A strong enough acid might do the trick. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. titanium deposit. I am marking its approximate position on our map. Excellent. Let's go there and search for it with the geoscanner. It's 
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available. We have finished researching fernite handling. The results are amazing. This mineral will allow us to craft entirely new equipment and weapons of extreme quality. The only problem is that we need to find more of this resource. Mr. Riggs, can you search for large condensations of the entwined fernite crystals using the orbital scanner? Roger that, Ashley. I have located a potentially fernite-rich location. The rift jump coordinates are marked on the orbital scanner interface. We've got it, but the amount of titanium in this deposit is not impressive to say the least. It is enough to provide data for the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits underground. Okay, let's start the orbital scanning procedure. We have to find more titanium. Orbital scanning in progress. Searching for traces of titanium within the planet's volcanic zone. This will take some time to complete. Orbital scanning finished. We've located a new planetary location with larger underground titanium deposits. Warning, the volcanoes in that area are very active. Make sure to equip any armor enhancements that we have available before going there. Research completed. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Successful. Warning. Nearby volcanic eruption detected. Watch out for falling debris. Mr. Riggs, can you track the incoming locks that pose a threat to your armor? Affirmative. I have enabled projectile hit prediction and am actively marking estimated collision locations. Evade these markers as soon as you see them. We only have a few seconds to act. Okay. This mission is going to be intense. We'll have to dodge volcanic bombardment and search for titanium at the same time. Ashley, the orbital scanner detected titanium deposits hidden underground. If we can gather enough titanium from this area, we should be able to study the geological composition of titanium-rich ores present on this planet. The next logical step will be to establish a permanent titanium mining outpost. That makes perfect sense. Equip the geoscanner and let's start hunting for treasure.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. enough titanium to be able to study its geological presence patterns on Galatea 37. Ślimak, ślimak, co tu robisz? Taki ładny, taki tłusty. Będzie z ciebie fur kapusty. What? What did you say? I did not say anything. Are you breaking down from the heat? No. Are you hallucinating? What? Of course not. Someone screwed up your programming. My programming is impeccable. I was designed and perfected by some of the best programmers that humanity has ever seen. Of course you were. You were the best AI on this planet. Excellent. Let's queue up downloading of the appropriate titanium handling technology and start scanning for a good location for a titanium mining outpost. Orbital scanning in progress. We should have a good location for a titanium mining outpost soon. Research completed.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for credit. Orbital scanning finished. We have located rich titanium deposits in a new planetary location. I have marked the rift jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Acknowledged, Mr. Riggs. We will finally be able to gather larger amounts of titanium to start producing better equipment and finish the rift station construction. Let's go there to establish a titanium mining outpost as soon as possible. Research completed. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Swarm is approaching our base. Brace for combat. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our 
buildings has been destroyed. Base is under attack. has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. Base is under attack. The wind is picking up speed. Loose objects are starting to fly. The wind is much stronger than usual. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Successful. I am detecting multiple mineable titanium deposits in close proximity to our location. Excellent. We've hit the jackpot. Let's look for an easy to defend location near one of the titanium deposits to establish an outpost. Ashley, remember that in this biome, we have to cool the surroundings before placing any buildings. Start by constructing cryo stations in the location where you want to build your base. We could also start building up next to a patch of cryo plants. However, that can be dangerous as these plants may get destroyed during an attack. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. Crafting completed.
We have to change our approach to generating energy in this outpost. The atmosphere in this biome is very dense. It is blocking sunlight and reducing the effectiveness of solar panels. Wind activity is also very low, so wind turbines don't produce much energy. However, I am detecting multiple geothermal vents and rich carbonium deposits. We can place power plants on these resources. We are practically surrounded by vast amounts of energy that is stored in the magma all around us. It would be possible to utilize magma as a liquid to produce power if we invest in appropriate technology. Ashley, let us not forget that we came here to start mining titanium for our rift station. Remember to place rare elemental mines on the titanium deposits that we found here. You're right. Let's secure our base and speed up the mining process as soon as possible. Creatures are closing in. Get ready to fight. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed.
new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal.
attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
a new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The Warning! A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Research completed. Swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Buildings has been destroyed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Thank <laughs> you. 
The wind is picking up. A storm is coming. The storm is getting really intense. I hope it doesn't overload our power grid. The storm is over. It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. of survival. Every bit helps.
jump successful. This area is very rich in tanzanite. My scans have indicated two especially large condensations nearby. I have marked their locations on our minimap. Interesting. We've actually found an oasis in this desert. It looks like one of those condensations is around a pool of liquid. We have to see this. Yes, that is odd indeed. The second location appears to be a bit more standard. It is a large tanzanite deposit hidden underground. It is spread out in a larger radius. Okay, we'll analyze it with the geoscanner as soon as we get there. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. This is an actual oasis. It looks stunning. These cacti are growing like crazy near this pond. They contain a lot of tanzanite. We can harvest them to gather the resource, as well as research samples. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The weather is changing. I'm sensing an intense dust storm coming our way. This may affect our solar panels. The sky is barely visible now, and dust is getting everywhere. I hate dust storms. Base is under attack.
the weather is clearing up. I can see everything again. Let's hope this doesn't happen again too soon. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Wind is picking up. There's a dense dust storm visible on the horizon. I hate dust storms. New blueprints are available for crafting. Ashley, there's a lot of tanzanite in this area, but its concentration is so low that I will not be able to excavate it with my equipment. These cacti clearly like to grow in this place. They condense the tanzanite from the soil during their growth process. Unfortunately, these ones are too small to harvest any meaningful quantities of the resource. Mr. Riggs, I think I know how we can extract the underground tanzanite deposit. We can use the water from the oasis to power a cultivator. If we can build a pipeline from the oasis to the underground deposit, we could speed up the growth of the cacti in that area. These plants will extract the tanzanite for us. Good thinking, Ashley. The pipeline is going to be long, but it will work if we can put it together. The mushbit colonies in the area will not make this easy. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operation is returning back to normal.
a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Cultivator is operational. It will require some time to grow these cacti to appropriate size. Okay, we can harvest these cacti manually, or we can automate the process by constructing additional collector stations. Do not forget about setting up some defenses for our little outpost here. It is almost certain that we will come under attack as soon as the local fauna learns about our presence. Base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for packing. An energy connector has been destroyed. Not enough carbonium.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. There's an intense aurora in the sky. Prepare for an ion storm. It's going to disable a lot of equipment. The Ion Storm is disabling our equipment. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The number of charged particles has drastically decreased. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal.
base is under attack. We have gathered enough Tansonite to start crafting new equipment. Ashley, we can stay here and search for more minerals. Or, we can return to our primary objectives. Excellent. We can craft some really good weaponry with this amount of Tanzanite. The sun's activity is at an extreme today. It might be dangerous. The sun is burning our armor and structures. Sun's activity is decreasing. Heat and radiation levels are returning back to normal. We're halfway through gathering enough uranium to construct the fusion field accelerator for the rift station. Ashley, you can accelerate the process by securing additional uranium deposits and building more uranium centrifuges. Warning, I'm detecting a massive swarm of creatures heading towards our outpost. We still have some time to prepare. Strengthen our defenses as much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. The mining operation must have disturbed a lot of them. We're going to need advanced defense towers to repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the critical paths toward our outpost.
Crafting completed. sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them.
I'm not detecting any large groups of creatures in the vicinity of our base. We fended off the attack. That was intense. Our jungle headquarters feel really cozy compared to this place. We've gathered enough uranium to construct the fusion field accelerator. Let's return to HQ to start the construction process. Remember that this outpost will remain as a permanent base of operation. We can expand the number of resource mines that are operational in this area to boost our economy. All of the resources produced here will be automatically transferred to our HQ as long as the orbital scanner is active. Long-distance rift travel and transportation are not possible without it.
creatures are closing in on our base. Prepare for an attack. Our swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. A building has been destroyed. has been destroyed. Base is under attack.
first upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. Research completed. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Base is under attack. Destroyed. 
been destroyed. some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. A small piece of Comet is going to hit close to our position.
We've calculated the comet's possible impact location. It's flying right above us. We have to investigate it as soon as it hits the ground. The comet has hit the ground. Ashley, let's go and investigate that area. New technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed.
Great jump successful. The orbital scanner recorded large condensations of rhodonite in this area, both underground and in the form of the red crystal formations that we've seen in the other parts of this biome. Okay, let's grab the geoscanner and start searching for treasure. a large condensation of rhodonite near our position. I have marked its approximate location on our map. Excellent. We should gather as much rhodonite as possible. We'll use it later to craft better equipment. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. Warning! Hostile creatures. Are Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Base is under attack. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out.
Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Which the fog is clearing up. A portal has been destroyed. is coming from a nearby nest. Blueprints are available for crafting. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Warning, multiple granite nests detected within this area. Be careful, Ashley. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. We've gathered a sizable amount of road night. This should be enough to craft some good equipment. We can stay here and try to find more or get back to our primary objectives.
I'm seeing very dark and heavy clouds on the horizon. Acid rain is coming. It's starting to rain acid. We won't be able to construct any buildings until it stops. Acid rain is over. We should inspect the entire base to assess the extent of the damage. technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. 
New buildings are available for construction. is under attack.
Warning! My radar is tracking a meteor swarm. Its flight trajectory ends very close to our location. Prepare for bombardment. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. near our base. Prepare to defend our base.
enemy swarm is approaching our base. Brace for combat. Base is under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. This is under attack. Base is under attack. An energy connector has been destroyed. titanium that we need to finish constructing the quantum gate stabilizer for the rift station i am detecting increased activity amongst the local fauna the attacks against our outposts are increasing in strength and numbers we should build up more advanced defensive towers to protect our base this area is very rich in resources so we can establish additional mining bases if we need to expand our economy warning i'm detecting a massive swarm of creatures Heading towards our outpost. We still have some time to prepare. Strengthen our defenses as much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. The mining operation must have disturbed a lot of them. We're going to need advanced defense towers to repel these creatures. Also, let's not forget about setting up minefields on the critical paths toward our outpost.
sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. buildings has been destroyed. Place. Intense heat, volcanic rock bombardment, walking stone giants, and swarms of fire-breathing snakes. Can it get any harder than this? We have gathered enough titanium to construct the quantum gate stabilizer. We should return to HQ to start the construction process. This outpost will remain as a permanent base of operations. We can even build up more mines and factories here to boost our economy. All of the resources that are produced here will be automatically transferred to our HQ, as long as the orbital scanner is operational. Long distance rift travel and transportation are not possible without it. our base. Base is under attack. The rock rain is over. That was intense.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Warning! I'm detecting intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. It's an earthquake. It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. The earthquake is over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The technology queue is empty. Technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. New technologies are available for development. Select new technologies for development. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up.
This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Efficiency is back to normal. The technology queue is empty. Prepare for an ion storm. The ion storm is disabling our equipment. Technology has been developed. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Construction. Some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. 
Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. Looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Every bit helps. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack.
energy connector has been destroyed. detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Efficiency is back to normal. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Too close to another portal.
jump successful. Radiation is above normal, but within safety limits. Amazing. This place looks like a completely different planet. The plants and rocks look like they've been fused with the heavy metals that are so abundant here. I am detecting regular dark energy wave pulses. It is difficult to assess where they originate from. I need some time to gather more readings. Okay, Mr. Riggs. In the meantime, we can walk around and explore the area. Are these dragonflies? They have metallic wings and reinforced carapaces, but the majority of their bodies is organic. This is very odd. Watch out for this species, Ashley. It looks very aggressive and can fly over terrain obstacles. Is this a drone or a creature? It doesn't look natural. These flying round creatures are biomechanical hybrid organisms. However, I would not classify them as typical cyborgs. I cannot see a clear distinction between organic and mechanical parts. All of their elements function perfectly together. They either evolved this way or they've been bioengineered. Both options are equally disturbing. Let's see what other curiosities we can find here. Base is under attack. analyzing the dark energy wave patterns. There are at least a few strong emitters within this area. I have marked the location of the strongest one on your map. We should go there first. Okay. This valley looks alien on an alien planet. Let's see what we can find here. Look at these structures. These aren't natural. 
They must have been made by an advanced civilization. I can even see some wreckage. Are these remnants of an ancient native civilization, or has someone visited this planet before us? This raises so many questions. Ashley, this is a very significant discovery. It could change the classification of our entire mission to Galatea 37. We need to conduct a thorough analysis of these objects. You know the procedures. I know. Secure the area. Construct a research station near the archaeological site. Assess if the find poses any threat to the expedition. Affirmative. These should be our immediate goals here. What about the dark energy wave emissions that we were tracking? Are they coming from these ruins? No. The source of these emissions seems to be hidden behind the alien structures, somewhere within that crater. Okay. As soon as we finish analyzing these structures, we'll need to find a way inside there. The research station is under construction. I am detecting movement in the planet's orbit. This cannot be a coincidence. We should prepare to defend this site. This doesn't look well. If something is purposefully controlling objects in the sky, then we might be dealing with an active presence of an alien civilization. I'm starting to get worried about this. Don't worry, Ashley. Get prepared. Warning! I am detecting a fast-moving horde of creatures heading towards our outpost. An attack is imminent. Calm rabbit species must be related to the flying laser eye Bradron creatures. They share a lot of common characteristics and have very similar internal organ structure. Their metallic evil twin has been bioengineered to grow a metallic shell that serves as protective armor, and their huge eye was modified to function as a mining tool or weapon.
base is under attack. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. under attack. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research station is halfway through gathering data.
under attack. Research station has finished analyzing the alien artifacts. These structures were indeed created by an advanced civilization. They are old, but they're too young to be of native origin. They're composed of very dense, heavy element alloys. The wreckage in front of the tall alien pillars appears to be some kind of a pump or a refinery. It has visible intake valves, and we found traces of morphium inside it. This liquid behaves in a similar way to the meteorite debris that we analyzed near our HQ. It is a mixture of heavy element atoms that rapidly change state and morph interchangeably into lighter or heavier elements. How is this liquid stable? Why doesn't it explode? We've never seen anything like this. Our sensors cannot explain these phenomena. However, we are detecting dark energy wave emissions from this liquid. Dark matter and dark energy are just vague terms that we use to describe unknown forms of both. That means that there's something more inside or around the liquid that we cannot see or interact with. That's probably the thing that drives and stabilizes these morphing reactions. I propose we call this substance morphium. A fitting name. It looks like there is a pool of morphium nearby. Maybe this wreckage was initially connected to it. That would make sense. Let's connect it back and see what happens. Is our pipeline system going to be able to transport this substance? Of course. It's been designed to handle plasma, supercoolants, or even molten magma. It can transport practically anything. Okay then. Let's place a pipe in this pool of morphium and connect it to the alien structure near our research station. It's working! What is it doing? The ground is being covered with metal plates. They're replicating. 
The barrier that was guarding the entrance to the crater has just been assimilated by that metal surface. Was that a gate left here on purpose? The dark energy emissions are coming from within that crater. Let's go inside. The structures inside this crater are amazing. They are very old and damaged, but they give me the feeling as if they could come back to life at any moment. The dark energy readings are strongest at the center of this crater. Something powerful was here, but there is not much left. These aliens must have been able to manipulate unknown forms of dark matter and dark energy. The morphium liquid looks like some kind of power source. It provides both matter and energy to their structures. Would it be possible to replicate some of this technology without fully understanding how it works? Yes. The research station scanned the alien structure thoroughly, and our printer drones can replicate it with minor modifications. If we connect it to a morphium pipeline, it will operate. Based on initial analysis, the structure that opened the gate to this crater has multiple purposes. It is a defensive tower, but it also covers the ground around itself with a metallic surface. This influence area assimilates most smaller objects that it touches and serves as a power generator. It probably served additional purposes for the aliens, but we don't know enough about that. These towers will not require an additional energy supply, nor AI cores to operate. This can prove very useful if we can find more pools of morphium. It could make securing remote bases very easy because we could have the morphium towers up very quickly without the need to set up AI centers and a full power grid for them. We could also research a crude way of transforming morphium into a power source and build morphium power plants. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. That's interesting as well. Before we venture out further, it looks like it would be a good idea to set up a solid outpost in this area. There's a lot of ironium and cobalt in this valley. We should take advantage of that. That is a very good idea, Ashley. As soon as we've secured a solid outpost, we should investigate the remaining dark energy wave emitters I detected in this area. I have marked their approximate locations on your map. Some of the hostile creatures that are present in this biome are capable of traversing over canyons and lakes. We have to take that under consideration when placing our defenses. Remember to secure our base from all sides. Sunlight is a bit dimmed in this metallic valley, and there's a lot of strong wind currents. The weather is a bit more volatile here. I think it would make more sense to build wind turbines in this biome. However, we should back them up with a lot of energy storage capacity to mitigate the changing weather conditions. The dark energy emissions are coming from inside this crater, but the entrance is blocked by the same type of structures that were present near the alien morphium tower wreckage. Can we rift jump inside there? No. The energy field in that crater is too strong. It could scramble us. Okay, we wouldn't want that. Maybe we should place our own morphium tower near this barricade to remove it. That would be logical. This appears to be another piece of alien wreckage. We can extract some useful technology from it. Things didn't go well for them on this planet. Was it the local fauna that destroyed them? Are we going to suffer the same fate? We're aliens, just like they were. That is not probable, Ashley. An advanced civilization with such sophisticated technology would not be threatened by the primitive creatures that we've encountered on this planet. The local creatures are quite a threat to us, and I'm sure we haven't seen everything this planet has to offer. And if the local fauna didn't destroy them, then what did? 
They could have been destroyed by natural disasters. Or they could have been destroyed by another civilization. Or they could have destroyed themselves. Okay, you're right. There's no point in speculating. Let's search for more information. Danger! Enemy creatures are closing in. Get ready to fight. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. The wind is picking up speed. Loose objects are starting to fly. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. here. It looks like these rocks melted from intense heat. That is possible, Ashley. The object in the center of this area is still sending out strong energy emissions. And whatever happened here must have happened a long time ago. Something was destroyed here. Maybe we can create something useful from this wreckage. Is this an ancient battlefield? Warning! Unknown threat incoming! They're destroyed. Tower? The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. What was that? I don't see how this could be a mutated local species. And they ambushed us here. I don't think these ancient aliens are dead. And I don't think they like us. We have to find out if there are more of them on this planet. I agree, Ashley. An advanced hostile civilization could threaten our mission and all of humanity if it could possess control of the Rift Station. We have analyzed all of the dark energy wave emissions present in this area. I was able to fine-tune our equipment thanks to the data and the morphium research that we conducted here. I have located a new planetary location that contains dark energy wave emissions similar to the ones that we've encountered in this area. Okay, we should rift jump to that location as soon as possible.
attack is imminent. We should build stronger defenses around our base. Swarm is approaching our base. Brace for combat. Base is under attack. destroyed. Base is under attack. A tower has been destroyed.
The wind is picking up. A storm is coming. The storm is getting really intense. I hope it doesn't overload our power grid. successful. I am detecting strong dark energy wave emissions, but I cannot pinpoint the exact location. We need to gather more readings. Roger that, Mr. Riggs. Let's scout the area. Maybe we can find that spot ourselves. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. How do you think we should call these ancient aliens, Mr. Riggs? Based on the data we've gathered, I would classify them as a Type IV Advanced Extraterrestrial Morphium-based Civilization. Okay, let's cut that short and call them Exmorph from now on. Acknowledged. It fits well. Warning! Unknown threat detected. It's a huge alien tower! Watch out, Ashley. It shoots very powerful plasma projectiles. This looks like an automated biofactory. It's fusing the local fauna with some kind of alien technology. It doesn't look right. It's more like a failed experiment. It is threatening both to us and to the local ecosystem. We should destroy it. You won't have to tell me that twice. How did these towers appear out of thin air? We probably couldn't detect them with our senses. They must be using dark matter in their technologies. Any technology that's sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. That sounds about right in this case. We can't directly detect dark matter and dark energy, but we can see the effects of its influence. That is correct, Ashley. All of my dark energy readings are based on changes in the local environment that cannot be explained in any other way. For example, Dark matter can affect gravity, but it does not interact with electromagnetic waves, including light waves. Modern magic in its purest form.
everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. The technology queue is empty. to locate the source of the dark energy wave emissions. I've marked the location on your map. Okay, Mr. Riggs, let's go there. a crash site. I can see a wing fragment over there. I think a small spaceship hit the ground in this spot and broke up into pieces. We should remove all hostile presence from the area before we try to study this site in more detail. New technologies are available for development. Some processes are still functioning. How can you detect that? Isn't this supposed to be unknown alien technology? Some of these mechanisms are quite similar to ours. A lot of them operate based on known rules of physics. Except the ones that use dark matter. Maybe these aliens are just one step ahead of us. We could power up this core if we deliver a large enough initiating charge. Do you think we could get some data out of the ship's computer? I think that could be possible. At least we could learn more about how their technology operates on a fundamental level. Okay then, let's build up enough energy storage capacity, fill it up, and connect it to the ship's core. Technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Warning! I am detecting swarms of hostile creatures heading towards our location. It looks like they originate from a few central points. We should go there and clear them out. Let's go there as soon as we've built up some basic defenses around this site.
The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Research completed. is very slow today. Ashley, the initiating charge for the ship's core is ready. You can go there and start the procedure. We have to be close to that object to control that sequence. Okay, let's see if there's a ghost in this shell. Are you seeing this? Do you understand what it's saying? Negative. It's an alien language. I am trying to translate it, but it's going to take some time. I can speak your language, 
Who are you? I am Captain Ashley Novak from planet Earth. I have found your ship crash landed on this planet. Who are you? How did you come to this planet? Why were you destroyed? This planet has been marked for improvement. Algorithm failed replication limit. Danger! Power grid overloaded! Oh no. We've lost the alien core. We had contact with actual alien intelligence, and it's gone. Ashley, we should be satisfied that we had any contact at all. I only assumed that we could analyze this core's basic operations. Establishing contact with a new sentient species is a milestone that's hard to describe. If only we could get more information out of it. Warning! I'm receiving worrying signals from the Metallic Valley outpost. We should return there as soon as possible. That timing is not a coincidence. Let's get there quickly. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction.
We're back at the Metallic Valley Outpost. Mr. Riggs, can you give me a situation report? What was that warning about? We have detected an unusual increase in hostile creature activity. There are more of them everywhere around the outpost. Our scanners are also picking up multiple sources of dark energy emissions that were not active when we were here earlier. That's worrying. I think that our recent encounter at the crash site has caused this rise in activity. The meteors, alien sentinel towers, and hybrid creature attacks look like they've been caused by some central intelligence that doesn't want us here. We should scout the area to see what else has changed. Ashley, we should postpone any longer trips outside the base. I am detecting a large hostile swarm amassing near our base. A large-scale attack is imminent. We should significantly strengthen our defenses. Speak of the devil. Let's get to work then. Research completed. technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Crafting completed.
I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. That attack was stronger than anything we've seen here before. Those four-legged hybrids were terrifying. They had thick armor plating and plasma grenade launchers fused to their bodies. They must have been intentionally designed as bioweapons. However, it looked like they were unfinished. These creatures probably would not be able to survive for long on their own. Maybe it was a rush design created specifically to fight us. That is possible. But it's just a hypothesis. The situation is calmer now, Mr. Riggs. When we jump back to the outpost, you mentioned that you were detecting new sources of dark energy wave emissions. Can you tell me more about that? Of course. I had picked up a number of small dark energy wave emitters that hadn't been here when we first visited this location. They do not seem significant, but I think we should confirm whether they pose a threat to our base. Okay. Please mark some of their locations and we'll check what's going on. Ashley, I'm detecting increased hostile presence after the last attack. There are a few hotspots of activity, and their signatures look like hybrid biofactories. If we were fighting against an army, then I would say that the last attack was an invasion attempt, and they've managed to establish a forward base of operations. If we don't act quickly, they're going to overrun our base. Let's destroy these factories as soon as possible. Interesting. It looks like an Exmorph artifact. It's covered the ground with the same metallic structure as all the other Exmorph structures. It doesn't have any other apparent function. I am seeing many similarities between this pylon and the Exmorph biofactories. I can try to extract more information from inside it. It disintegrated as soon as we tried to tamper with its structure. The metallic surface around it has also disappeared. This might be some bio-modification device, or an early-stage bio-factory. We should destroy these objects even if they do not seem to pose an immediate threat. We can get some extra resources out of them. Let's try to find as many of these pylons as possible. I've detected an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Destroy 
destroyed all of the Exmorph Bio Factories. This will significantly reduce the pressure on our defenses. We've defended this outpost against all immediate threats, but that won't keep us safe in the long run. We must resolve what's happening in the Metallic Valley. My theory is that the Exmorph crash landed on this planet a long time ago. They've been mostly destroyed, but were somehow able to remain here in a hibernated state. Our arrival on Galatea 37 must have triggered their reactivation. We're either dealing with an automated defense mechanism or a centralized intelligence that's orchestrating all of the events that are happening around us. Both of these scenarios are probable. If the hostile intelligence is centralized, then we could try to find it and destroy it. There's also a third possible scenario. It looks like all of the Exmorph-related structures and creatures can operate with full autonomy. They might have scattered intelligence that doesn't have a central hub. In either case, we should work towards reducing their attack capabilities and strengthening our position. We should locate their biofactories and eliminate them. We could also try to take away their source of power, Morphium. The attack that brought us here originated from a plateau nearby. It is highly probable that they are manufacturing hybrid creatures at that location. I have marked it on the orbital scanner interface. I can see a large lake of some liquid within this metallic biome. We've only seen Morphium around here, so I guess that's it. That lake could be an almost endless supply of that resource. We could transport it to our other outposts and take advantage of it. That is possible, but we would have to build a lot of liquid compressors in that location. We need to have that technology downloaded before there is any point in going there. We've already downloaded that tech. We can go there as soon as we want to. This creature is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. Threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab. Changing. Wind is slowing down. Wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. Oh, my God. 
The weather's changing. Wind is slowing down. Wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The wind is coming back. Wind power is returning to normal. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Base is under attack. i 
neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Research completed. successful. I am not detecting any biofactories yet. We have to walk around and search for them ourselves. This area is primarily flat and open. We should be able to navigate it quickly. I would like to gather more specimens of those large four-legged beasts if we run into them. I need to know the extent of the Exmorph engineering within them. This might tell us where they're headed with their designs and how to combat them better. dark energy bursts in a few locations around us. These must be hybrid biofactories. We should go there and destroy them. There's a lot of them. If we don't act quickly, they will overrun us. Let's get to work. the first biofactory. It looks like they were heavily defended by Exmorph defense towers. I think they expected us. Weather conditions are changing. 
Wind speed is increasing. Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Wind speed is returning back to typical values. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. Biofactory destroyed. I think they're creating all these Florian creatures. They've been preparing to destroy us. I'm detecting a rise in activity at the remaining Biofactory locations. They are ramping up their efforts. changing. 
Wind is slowing down. The wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. them down significantly and buy us more time. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. We've gathered enough samples of the Florian creatures. Their design is very cool. We probably shouldn't call them a species as they cannot reproduce on their own. These organisms are powered by morphium and I don't think they would be able to survive without it. It is hard to say how long they can survive on the supply that they carry within their bodies. They can communicate amongst themselves and appear to function autonomously. There's no evidence to support that they're controlled remotely, but I can't rule that out either. I am afraid they will not let us rest here. Worrying signals are coming in from the Metallic Valley outpost. We should go there as soon as possible. There's never a dull moment. Let's jump back there as soon as possible. Research completed.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. an unusually large creature roaming the nearby area. Sounds like an interesting research specimen. We should go to its location and see what we can learn. Research completed. Before it kills us, we'll finish researching it in the lab. Threat neutralized. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important after researching it in a lab.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings are available for construction. morphium here that it probably disrupted the rift jump system this island is too small to set up a sensible outpost we'll have to search for a larger island at least we know there's plenty of morphium in this place small to build a resource production outpost. We don't have to assault it. There is a biofactory on this island, Ashley. We should at least destroy the factory to reduce the strength of enemy attacks. Clear it out and set up our own fortress. is in progress. We should build up defenses as soon as possible. Building space is limited. I recommend constructing morphine towers to reinforce our defenses. They do not require additional power or AI cores. We can also place them directly in the morphine reservoirs so they can serve as forward defenses and their construction should be efficient here. 
it is going to be more difficult to defend on a small island. Outpost construction finished. Now, let's focus on building up the necessary morphium compression infrastructure. This will allow us to take advantage of this resource in any place on this planet. Liquid compression requires a lot of energy. I think it would be a good idea to use morphium power plants for this purpose. They're space efficient, and there's practically a limitless supply of morphium in this area. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Ashley? I'm detecting Exmorph biofactories around our base. We should destroy them to prevent the outposts from being overrun. We've destroyed all the biofactories in this area. It will be much harder for the hostile creatures to attack our outpost now.
technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. We've built up a sizable morphium production facility. This will allow us to take advantage of this resource in any place on the planet. We'll just need to construct the necessary decompression facilities wherever we want to deliver it. Warning! I'm detecting a massive swarm of creatures heading towards our outpost. We still have some time to prepare. Strengthen our defenses as much as possible. This attack is going to be very strong. There's limited space to build strong defenses on land, but we can take advantage of morphium towers and place them directly on the liquid. I think they should be most effective when placed in groups so they can back each other up with shields. That is a good idea, Ashley. We can build forward morphium tower lines that surround our outpost and support them with a few artillery towers placed on land.
I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. was a tough fight, but we can now safely export morphium from this location. This resource can prove very useful for strengthening our presence on Galatea. upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. 
New buildings are available for construction. Research completed. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Base is under attack. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Base is under attack. We'll buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade.
We're back at the Metallic Valley Outpost. Let me guess, there's a huge swarm of creatures heading our way and we should prepare our defenses. No, at least I'm not detecting any immediate danger at the moment. That's almost disappointing. So why did we have to get back here in such a hurry? We've detected multiple Exmorph influence pylons appear around our outpost. They have covered a significant portion of the land with that metallic surface. That's disturbing. We still don't know what these objects do. Let's go out and try to inspect more of them. Maybe this time we can find some more clues about where they're coming from. It will not be difficult to find these pylons. They should be common outside our base. We could also build a few radar stations to detect more of them. The first one disappeared just like each one that we scanned earlier. Mr. Riggs, did you catch any new readings from this event? No, just a short burst of dark energy. Wind power is returning to normal. a few of them. Is there any difference between these attempts? Yes. There are minor differences in dark energy emissions. They might have a slight directional focus. Maybe they're communicating back to their central entity this way. We do not have enough data to confirm that. Okay. Let's activate a few additional pylons. attack.
This is it. All of these pylons emit a dark energy pulse. Upon activation, they share a stronger emission spectrum with a common direction vector. I need a bit more time to analyze this data. Finally, if we can pinpoint where they're transmitting these signals, it might lead us to their central processing hub. This is so exciting. I am afraid that we also have some more pressing matters to attend to. Our long-range sensors are picking up an entire army of these hybrid creatures heading towards this outpost. This is going to be the most brutal attack yet. We have to use everything that we have at our disposal to defend this base. If they can destroy it, then they will probably try to attack our headquarters next. The power of these attacks is growing very quickly. It looks like the production base that we destroyed recently didn't help us with lowering their strength. We don't know how big this attack would have been if we hadn't destroyed that facility. True. We still have some time. Let's start preparing.
can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. The building has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Threat neutralized. Good job, Ashley. This attack was exceptional. Definitely. My heart is still pumping. These attacks are removing my scientific curiosity. I want to destroy these abominations now. I feel angry, exhausted, and disgusted. There is no beauty in these creatures. They're just a mindless mass of flesh fused with metal. We have to destroy the source of this plague or they'll infect the entire planet. Mr. Riggs, do we have any progress on the data that we've gathered from those Exmorth influence pylons? Yes, I was running data analysis all the time in the background. I have a lock on a very odd location. All of the influence pylons were beaming energy to a common point. I think we can assume that those were data transmissions. Okay, that makes perfect sense. All of the Exmorph-related objects and creatures were somehow tied to dark energy phenomenon that we can't fully grasp yet. That's why we couldn't work out what's happening around here. Can you tell me more about that location? We can't rift jump directly to that location. It is surrounded by very dense rock formations, full of heavy element minerals that distort the functioning of most of our equipment. We will have to walk up there, through a narrow passage amongst the rocks. How fitting! A single path to the lair of evil. I'm sure it wasn't designed that way on purpose. 
Ashley, are you mocking this situation? No, no, not at all. But jokes aside, we should prepare our gear before we jump there. Let's upgrade whatever we can. That is a good idea. Just remember not to postpone this for too long. The X-Morph are probably growing in strength with every minute. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Jump successful. We're close to the Exmorph base. Long range scans of this area indicate that this is the only viable vector of approach. This narrow corridor is a complex maze of alien structures. It is going to be challenging to navigate through it, and we should expect extreme resistance. We have to break through their central structure or whatever it is we're heading for and disable it. We can use their own technology against them. Morphium towers can dissolve their barricades. We'll build our own maze of towers if we have to. Our path is completely blocked by the Exmoor structures. We must dissolve them by placing Morphium towers next to the barricade.
technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Arcade. We can try to find a way around it, but there's no guarantee there is one. It's probably a better idea to dissolve the barriers using Morphium Towers anyway. We are progressing towards our goal. Dark energy emissions are getting stronger. are changing. Wind speed is increasing. The wind is much stronger than usual. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Destroyed. One of our buildings has been destroyed. We are halfway through, and we have destroyed a number of biofactories. Alien resistance is getting stronger. We're pushing through, but we've got to push harder. The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. Base is under attack. All my sensors are detecting unknown emissions affecting them. We must be heading for a very powerful source of dark energy. If we could detect all the dark energy and dark matter around us, we'd probably see a whole new world. We have to study all these artifacts as soon as we've removed the threat. A tower has been destroyed. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. One of our buildings has been destroyed.
large metal structure on the horizon. It must be their base or some landing ship. It looks damaged. The dark energy emissions are coming directly from that location. This is the central Exmor structure that we have been looking for. Research completed. are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. The wind is very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. Well, hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Research completed. Creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. We finally made it. We've reached the Exmorph core. It looks like it was severely damaged a long time ago. Ashley, this thing is still operational. We have to be careful. I don't want you to lose another R. Welcome, Ashley. We were hoping you would come here. Thankfully, you were able to destroy our rule replicants. How do you know my name? How can you speak my language? We were able to track some of your communication. Your language is easy to decode. What do you mean by rogue replicants? What happened to you? Why were you waiting for us? We landed on this planet a long time ago and wanted to colonize it just like you are doing now. This planet has a unique magnetic field that affected our systems in a way that we didn't predict in our hubris. One of our consciousnesses was damaged during replication. Then it went rogue and rebelled against us. It started to modify and replicate the local fauna to use as bioweapons. We managed to destroy the rogue consciousness, but its replicants continued to function autonomously and overwhelmed us. This is the last consciousness hub that we were able to hide in stasis. Ashley. I am sensing incoherence in this story. We cannot trust this entity. Understood, Mr. Riggs. I'll take that into account. Some of this story doesn't add up. Why are you telling us this? Why were you waiting for us? This core is damaged, and we are no longer able to reconstruct our avatars. We need your help to survive. Which parts of our story don't you believe? Why were these replicants and towers guarding your core against us? That wasn't friendly. 
They are not under our control. And at the same time, they cannot destroy us. They wanted to keep you away from us. What do you want from me? We want you to host our consciousness. What? How? We can help you, just like your companion. We can work alongside it and share our technology with you. This would uplift your entire civilization. All you have to do is connect your interface to our core. We will transfer our consciousness directly to your backup AI storage memory. Ashley, do not listen to it. It makes no sense and could infect our systems. This goes against all logic. The procedure is very simple. You only have to activate our core. Ashley, we can destroy that thing. Shoot at the core. Don't listen to your companion. If the core is destroyed, it will implode and will destroy everything within miles. It will annihilate you. The force field should drop when the core is destroyed. We can wrench them before it implodes. It should drop, but that's reassuring. Ashley, let us help each other. Do not destroy our species. This entity is trying to trick you. Destroy the core! No! Ashley, this is a mistake! Thank you, Ashley. Transfer of consciousness is in progress. Memory compromised! I cannot... allow... Initiating memory overload! No! Mr. Riggs, what's happening? Destroyed. Mr. Riggs, are you there? This thing is collapsing! We have to jump out of here! We made it out, but this core overload almost killed us. Why did you do that, Mr. Riggs? You can't override what I want to do. I classified this decision as suicide, and I had to override it. I cannot allow you to die. This wasn't suicide. We could have easily contained the Exmorph consciousness. We could have learned so much from them. It would have been a huge leap for humanity. The transfer of Exmorph Consciousness was already in progress. It was starting to overwrite my memory and could have taken over control of the mecha suit. I overloaded my systems to force a reboot and close the connection. That must have overloaded the Exmorph core as well. Did you sustain any damage? Some sectors of my memory were burned out permanently and are inaccessible. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Riggs. Is this going to affect your functioning? Negative. I am activating quantum memory backups. I will be back to 100% performance within minutes. What was that? I saw the X-Morph. Don't worry, Ashley. That was a memory rearrangement glitch. You freaked me out. It's not coming back, Ashley. Trust me. We are back at the Metallic Valley Outpost. Are you okay, Mr. Riggs? Yes. Memory repair finished. Let's not do that again. My backup resources are not infinite. I am sorry about what happened there. I shouldn't have taken that risk. I agree, Ashley. That was a reckless decision that could have destroyed us. That alien was trying to persuade you into losing control on false promises. Are you sure that the memory override attempt was intentional? No, but I am certain that what was happening would have deleted me. 
Your decision was correct. I don't deny that. But I can't help but wonder what we could have learned from them. Is there anything left from the Exmorph base? No. The explosion was immensely powerful. We will not be able to return to that location. <sighs> That's disappointing. We could have gathered so much knowledge from that Exmorph core. Are you picking up any dark energy signals? No. Nothing that would go above background noise. I think that it is highly probable that this entity was controlling the situation in this metallic valley. Ashley, what do you think we should do with all of the Exmorph technology that we've gathered? I think that we should research it further. I don't believe that it can harm us as long as it's been replicated by our systems. We control that process. We've eliminated the threat that the Exmorph were posing to our mission. I am not detecting any new points of interest within this biome. Understood, Mr. Riggs. I would love to study that alien civilization further, but I think we've exhausted our research options here. We can secure all the remaining resources in this location and resume our primary task back on Galatea 37. I can hear distant thunder. The wind is also picking up. A storm is coming. Research completed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Hyperparticle condenser construction in progress. Okay, we're going to have to wait some time for the construction to finish. This is a very complex piece of machinery. Fusion field accelerator construction in progress. This is going to take some time. Let's focus on other tasks. Quantum gate stabilizer construction in progress. We can't rush this building. I wouldn't want to get scrambled walking through an unstable rift portal. Would anyone want that? No, I guess no one would want that. Was that a joke? Yes, it was supposed to. I guess they didn't program that for you. I guess they didn't program that for you either. Ha, ha.
technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Base is under attack. It looks like an earthquake is coming. It seems like the earthquake has uncovered something interesting. Let's investigate. Ashley, we've discovered a new resource deposit. Condenser construction finished. Finally, it's a big milestone towards setting up a stable connection back to Earth. Fusion field accelerator construction finished. Excellent. We're one step closer to getting the Rift Station operational. Quantum gate stabilizer construction finished. That's great news. It wasn't easy to gather all that titanium to build it. Ashley, we have assembled all of the Rift Station components. We can start preparing the station for the power-up sequence. Walk onto the Rift Station to initiate a complete diagnostics check of all of the station's subsystems. I am initiating Rift Station diagnostics. Ashley, in the meantime, please verify the list of resources that are necessary to begin the Rift Station charge-up procedure. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we are going to need three primary ingredients to power up the portal. A starting charge that's going to initiate the sequence, a stable flow of supercharged plasma for the Rift Gate, and coolant to stabilize the station during the process. This shouldn't be that difficult with the infrastructure we already have in place. Station diagnostics complete. Portal gate structure check. Okay. Power couplings check. Okay. Fusion field accelerator plasma conduits check. Okay. Hyperparticle condenser capacitor flux. Okay. Quantum gate stabilizer magnetron check. Error. Magnetic field unstable. Oh no. We should have expected this. This planet's magnetic field is not behaving in a normal way. We won't be able to get off the planet if we don't stabilize the magnetic field around the rift station. We can stabilize the magnetic field by constructing additional magnetic field stabilizers around the rift station. 
Yes, we can do that, but this complicates the process significantly. Magnetic stabilizers require a lot of resources to be built. They use a lot of energy themselves. They require cooling. And we will have to place them around the portal, but not too close to each other. Ugh. We can expand our external mining outposts to speed up the process of gathering resources. We can also use the orbital scanner to search for new resource-rich locations. We might also have to rearrange the buildings around the rift station to make all of this possible. Well, as someone once said, we're not doing this because it's easy, but because it's hard. Let's get to work then. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Warning! A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Magnetic stabilizers are in place and operational. I am rerunning diagnostics on the quantum gate stabilizer. All systems check. Magnetic field stabilized. Quantum magnetron operational. That's great. We can move forward with the rest of the preparations. Ashley, we have finished all of the necessary preparations for the Rift Station power-up sequence. Technology. It wasn't easy, but we're there. It's hard to believe that we're finally approaching the moment of powering up the Rift. Please keep in mind that once we start the power-up sequence, it is going to need some time to finish. We will have to maintain a stable flow 
of all of the required resources during that time. The starting charge is only enough to initiate the rift station power-up sequence. The energy consumption of the station is going to be extremely high during the entire process. Please make sure that our energy grid can handle that strain before starting the procedure. We should build up additional reserves of supercharged plasma and coolant in liquid storages. If the rift station power-up sequence is interrupted, then we will have to cool off the station and restart the entire process. The rift station is going to emit an enormous amount of high-frequency energy waves. We've already aggravated the local fauna with our actions. These emissions will be going out in a very large radius, so they will alarm all of the potentially aggressive creatures within kilometers of our base. We have to prepare for the strongest attack that we've ever seen. We have to make sure that our base is secured from all directions. This is going to be our final battle on Galatea 37. Let's make sure that we are ready before we push the button. Danger! A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
Lift station power-up sequence initiated. The energy flux is creating intense electromagnetic waves. I am detecting minor gravitational field disturbances. The power-up sequence is creating seismic waves. I can feel the ground shaking. The weather is going crazy. It looks like the whole planet is going mad. I am detecting hordes of creatures moving towards our base from all directions. There are thousands of them. Ashley, this is it. My hand is trembling. I'm not sure if I'm stressing more about the battle or by opening the connection to Earth. We've been here for so long, every day fighting for survival. We are prepared for the battle. I know we are. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Power-up sequence is 25% ready. attack. Red station power-up sequence is 50% ready. has been destroyed. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Power-up sequence 
is 75% ready. Station power-up sequence completed. The quantum gate is stabilized. Ashley, we are ready to open the two-way portal back to Earth. We made it. It's hard to believe that this moment is finally here. We are receiving signals from the Earth. Quantum entanglement with the station back on Earth is confirmed. You have to manually insert your personal rift synchronization core to confirm the procedure from our side before the rift portal can be opened. There's so much diverse life on this planet. We've been here for so long, but have we studied the ecosystem enough to start colonizing the planet? Ashley, your primary objective was to establish a two-way portal back to Earth. Studying the ecosystem is not a priority. Your quantum synchronization core is paired with an identical object back on Earth. The pairing is fragile. If we don't finalize the connection now, the quantum entanglement is going to collapse and destroy the rift synchronization cores. If we don't go now, there is no guarantee that we'll ever be able to return to Earth. Audio transmission incoming. Congratulations, Riftbreaker Novak. You've secured Galatea 37 for colonization. This is a huge step forward for all of humanity. Our expeditionary forces can start building up a colony. This planet has an abundance of natural resources that will enable our civilization to thrive for centuries to come. Your bravery and persistence will serve as an inspiration for future generations of Rift Breakers. The galaxy is full of planets that are waiting to be discovered and explored. Our new home on Galatea 37 will allow us to go further than we have ever gone before. Consciousness transfer completed. Reactivated transfer vessel. Search for a suitable star system. Okay. 